Okay, time to get into the third and final book of the trilogy for Planescape. And this one is the adventure. It's Turn of Fortune's Wheel. So this one is an adventure book that, in, in a sense, like I said in the last video, is like an inter introductory adventure into the whole uh, Planescape uh, campaign setting that you can use. So uh, for the back, I'll uh, read that real quick. So it's Tour the Great Wheel. A multiverse glitch returns several souls to life in Sigil, the impossible city at the center of the Outer Plains. Uncertain of who they are and seeking answers, these wanderers must explore the city of doors, contend with mighty immortals, and chronicle the farthest out reaches of the Outlands. In doing so, the adventurers discover a plot to undermine the rules of reality and have a chance to recover their true identities. Turn of Fortune... Fortune's Wheel is a D&D adventure designed for characters of level 17, 3 to 10 with a dramatic jump to level 17. Dungeon Masters can use this adventure as a standalone experience or to launch a Planescape, a Planescape campaign. So the whole idea of this, as you can tell, is like um, an idea of like a create, like a giving people, a PCs, an introduction to the whole Planescape campaign set and everything. So... Now, as it says, like, this is one of the few adventures that actually starts you off at, like, a level 3 instead of level 1. Like, m most adventures, like, uh, Curse of Strahd and, like, um, and you can do, like, a maybe Candle Keep Mysteries or, like, um, the uh, uh, Rhyme of the Frost Maiden, like, and, like, of course, there's the, the Dragonlance Shadow of the Dragon Queen. Most of those start you off at level 1. Uh, the Call of the Nether Deep starts you off at level three, so this one is sort of like that, and it starts you off at level three. So as a DM, you have like a, one of two options: you can either start people off at level one, and then run like a quick like um, uh, a, uh, adventure to get them up to level three, and then maybe they lose their memories and find themselves in sigil at level three, or you can just like uh, create level three characters and like uh, everyone's kind of like a uh, suffering from amnesia, like well, who the hell am I? And then you, as you go through uh, this adventure, you go, like it says, from levels 3 to 10. And, of course, like uh, the dramatic jump to 17 is kind of like uh, all of a sudden, like, you ha uh, get your memories back. Oh, yeah, this is who we are. And so all of a sudden, you, like, you get, like, all these, uh, uh, in a sense, like a, a fast track to level 17. So that way you can finish the adventure and everything. So, like, um, and, like, you find, like, that's an actual, like, a, in a sense, a glitch in the Matrix type of, type of deal. So that's why you jump to 17. Which is kind of like a cool twist to it and everything. So, of course, like most adventures, you don't necessarily need to run as is. So, like, uh, you might like, well, I don't want to dramatically jump them from level 10 to level 17. I kind of want to make them work for it. So, you could, as a DM, kind of like a, make something like a, kind of like a, bring them up to level 10. And you get through, like, all the, the chapters up until that point, And then run them through, like, a bunch of, like, uh, side quests or whatever, too. Like, instead of uh, just dramatically jumping up to 17, you can do them side quests or something to kind of piecemeal getting their memories back to uh, kind of, like, uh, go the slow progress going to, from levels 10 to 11 to 12, 13, 14, all the way up to 17 instead of doing that dramatic jump and everything. Of course to uh, each to his own type of deal so it all depends on you the dm on how you want to run the actual campaign so like um so this is going to be kind of like a quick uh, like a short video just to kind of quickly go over this adventure to like uh, complete the uh, series and so uh, it's like as you can kind of tell like it's a kind of like a short adventure so like um I can showcase like the uh, I got although all the books with the original artwork on it and it does have like as uh, ones that have alternate covers on it so like uh, uh, to each his own so like I know I mentioned like collectionist probably would want to get both and everything if you're willing to spend the money someone like me wants to just like uh, get one or the other then like you're probably like me and just get the one or the other so that it's set up the same way like um and with the contents and so like it gives the whole like uh as you can see like the the table of contents it like uh, lets you get like a quick uh, uh, synopsis of like the flow and, and ebb and flow of the adventure and everything so this one is like a relatively short adventure because like it, all it is is like uh as like uh i'll reiterate and, and showcase it's relatively like a thin book 
compared to like uh, some of like your other uh, adventure books as I grab the kit as I'm fumbling over books so like for and I keep grabbing source books so compared to like the uh, uh, fan like the fan delver and the shatter obelisk you can see like the the difference between like uh the typical adventure book and like uh this one so like this one's like you can see it's uh, slightly uh, shorter so the of course, it's like, uh, in a sense, like I said, an introductory adventure. So the, the kind of like, hey, hey, look, this is the planescape and everything. Here's an introductory to it. And let's let's jump into it. So it would be kind of like a almost like a standalone or like a one shot type of adventure, like uh, what you find in stuff like the Tales from the Yawn and Portal or Candle Keep Mysteries. But it's kind of like a, it's like that, and it's that shorter, but it's like a, kind of like a step between uh, one shots and actual adventures. But as an introductory book or adventure for Planescape and everything, uh, this one is uh, definitely a good introductory one. So now, of course, I uh, got it as a box set and everything. So like, uh, as far as I know, you can only get it as a box set with the other two books I went over recently. I mean, you might be able to find like, um, them built like uh, se separately. But like, uh, I I would say like uh, if you're getting into Planescape, which is probably one of like a uh, not as popular as like uh, your Forgotten Realms or Greyhawk or whatever, but like if you're definitely looking to uh, shake things up and do something different and like want to do a planescape and kind of like a go like a, through that tour of the multiverse, then that this box set would definitely be what uh, good and this uh, definitely a decent introductory adventure for you to be able to get into the uh, planescape. Uh, campaign setting and quite possibly tie it into a, maybe a campaign that you're currently running as well 